Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. Today we are in Minnesota because we are here for my sister's graduation and we have several things planned. So I'm going to show you how I make a backdrop with a PVC pipe. We we're not able to bring our pipe and drape kit. That would have been so much easier to set everything up. So I had to come up with a design to make this backdrop so everything would look nice and the balloons would hold and the drapes would hold. I know there's so many videos out there on how you use PVC pipes for backdrops, but I decided to design this one in such a way that you have more support, especially for the drapes we're going to attach to the backdrop. The party is tomorrow at a beautiful park i'll show you all everything when we get to the park but this is the day before the event and i just want to show you how we put together this pvc backdrop for this graduation party we are working in the garage i bought let's see five ten foot pvc pipes and we have some wood blocks that are going to be our base these two will be the base for the backdrop now i also want to make some balloon columns so i'm going to use these shorter pieces these two shorter pieces for the balloon column this i'm not sure what it's called but we're going to use this as the support that will insert the pvc pipes onto and we have several of those because each of the long pieces will get two on each side for better support and we'll put one on each of these shorter pieces for our single columns then we have here this angled pvc pipe to connect the pipe as they go across at a 45 degree angle and i have this T, sorry for the background noise, we have some trucks going by. Then I have two of these T connectors that we're going to use as well. I'll show you the picture and you'll see what I'm talking about. Then we have a PVC pipe cutter. We had to buy all this here because we forgot ours. So you have the tube cutter. And because these holes were pretty big, we needed these washers to attach here so that our screws can fit right in. And I'll link all of this down below. We went to Menards, which we don't have in Oklahoma City, and bought all these things. So I'll find links for all of this. Then to support the backdrop even further, Olivia is here trying to help. To support the backdrop even further, can I have that please? Thank you. Come on. To support the backdrop even further, we bought these screw eyes that we're going to attach some string. Once she brings that, I'll show it to you. Right here, we have some steel wire that will just support everything even further. So it's the option of using this with the steel wires or using these they're called thimble sets to kind of crimp it down. So we have a few pieces that will be left over. Oliver is here as well. So we're going to see if we can attach the pieces. And I'll explain as we're cutting everything. Because even though these are um, 10 foot long, we're going to cut them down to 7 foot. And the 3 feet that are left, we'll cut those in half to attach the backdrop and then the other three feet pieces that are left will connect them to make our columns that would be a six foot column for balloons so let me grab the diagram and i'll show that to you right now this is the picture kind of the sketch of the backdrop of course this doesn't have the columns that we're going to use so i have the two blocks down here that are going to support two of the posts. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to hang drapes right here. And this middle part will have my 
backdrop that I ordered on Amazon, I'll have all that link and this side will have drapes as well. And I'll put balloons all around here. So I only made it a foot and a half between these two. So this corner will have the angled PVC pipe, which is this right here, which is this one in the corner at the top here and on this side and the where you have the two t's here and here i'm going to put this t connector so let's get on with the video i have my husband helping today so let's get on with it and i'll show you how we put this all together Sabi can hold that end. Sabi, you want to hold the end? Just put it at the very end. We have a lot of help. <laughs> uh oh, you okay? Come on. Fall? Did you fall? Sorry, sorry. It's not straight. <laughs> She's sitting on it. <laughs> Livy, come. Come. Can you get up? Good girl. We are finally able to measure the PVC pipe so we can get all these cut to the right dimension. We made our first marking and we just hook up our PVC cutter, screw that on and twist it around and keep tightening it so it cuts right through the PVC pipe. I'll show you further down how we do this again in order for you to see but we have exactly our 7 foot PVC pipe and like I explained we need 7 of these. Further down in the video, we'll make some changes, but we're going off of our initial template in order to cut all these. So the first one we cut, we're just using that first one to mark the rest of the four pieces. And we're using the exact same method we used, putting that blade right on the point we marked, twisting it around, tightening it up even more and twisting it around until it cuts through the pipe this is really easy and it works great to cut all these pipes now we're working on cutting the pieces that go on each end of the pipe what i explained that i would use to attach the drapes onto and also we'll be making the stand for the balloon column i want to make a six foot stand so i'm attaching two of those three foot pieces together and we're going to use this pvc pipe wall mount it's actually used for a wall mount with some washers and screws to attach those to this piece of wood that's just gonna that we'll use to insert that six foot pvc pipe onto now this holds so well you see once we insert the PVC pipe into this it'll just pick it up and it does not go anywhere it stays nice and secure so you see how we use this it just fits right in and these are one inch PVC pipes there you go so we assembled 
part of the backdrop as you can see the PVC pipes right here what I decided to do instead of the 1.5 here that I initially planned to do I thought it would be too small so I decided to make it two feet but then we realized the wood we cut was gonna be too short so we're going to go with the widest piece of wood that we can so we'll drill it at the very end and then we'll cut that piece that was supposed to be one and a half feet this one here and this one at that end to fit that which is gonna be about 20 inches so I'm just letting you know if you decide to make that wider just take into account the wood that you're gonna use and you'd have to cut this piece wider as well I just figured since I have to put two colors of drapes on each side of the backdrop it would be better for me to make it slightly wider so you can actually see and this is a huge backdrop the middle part looks really big but the backdrop I ordered on Amazon is this size so we'll still go with that so we're gonna continue putting everything together and I'll update you as we go So this is the night before the event and I decided to inflate the balloons because my father-in-law decided to rent a U-Haul so that would, have, would be easier to transport everything we need, the food, the balloons and everything all at one time and bring them all back when the event is over. So I'm using this opportunity to inflate as many balloons as I can to save me time tomorrow when the event when we're setting up for the event so I have metallic gold in Tuftex and I have white in Qualitex and I have a sapphire blue I forget the brand right now but these three colors are just beautiful together very elegant very classic or royal in my opinion but I'm working on getting as many balloons as I can inflated so I can shorten the time I used to set up I'm working on 11 inches and 5 inches tonight I decide to inflate 
the 17 and 16 inch balloons at the side so here I'm using the same technique you've seen in most of my videos I inflate them to as big as I can get them and then I squeeze out the air so that it gives me that round look for each of the balloons I do not want the balloons to be pear shaped I want them to have to be as round as I can get them so I do my best to press and compress another thing is using balloons outside you never want to inflate them very big to the size they are because they tend to pop with the Sun and the heat so when you inflate them smaller than they would look it holds your shape and keeps your balloons from popping and luckily none of my balloons pop with the full install so that's a tip for you right there I try to give you as many tips as I remember throughout my videos so that you can learn from them and I hope they help if this is your first time tuning into my channel please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos I post videos every Tuesday on this channel we focus on setting up for events we do everything decor for events all types of events so stay tuned as we continue to grow this channel and post videos to help anyone out there who is trying to set up events or trying to do events for themselves it's a good opportunity for you to learn as much as you can if you have any questions with this tutorial please don't hesitate to write me a comment and i'll answer the best i can i really appreciate each and every one of you if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support thank you for all the nice comments thank you for sharing the video i really appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you so now i am working on my five inch balloons just with the five inch this time i have two colors the white and this sapphire blue i don't have the gold so I'm just creating that same rounded effect with each of them and connecting three at a time to create the accent piece. Now I'm assembling parts of the garland to save me some time. So I'm putting, joining all the clusters with the neck. So I'm pulling in one neck from a quad and tying it onto the main cluster with another neck so you just look down into your quad and pull the longest neck you can find most of these I am NOT using the gold because this gold is very very tough to work with and it's not very stretchy so I'm using the necks of the sapphire blue and the white to get all the balloons connected because it's saving my fingers from using the gold I'm saving my fingers by using the other colors not the gold just something to keep in mind there so I'm continuing to do this because I want to save time when I'm putting the backdrop together you will see that I'll just grab each of these pieces and reconnect them as I go obviously I'm not going to connect the full garland because it's a pretty big size and you saw the backdrop we made with the PVC pipe so it's going to go all around the border of that PVC pipe so just stay tuned keep watching and you see how all this comes together you see the huge challenge we had with the wind just knocking over the PVC pipe and I'll tell you some of the things we did that kept it all day long for the event once we got through that hurdle it was actually a good thing that it was windy while we were installing because it helped us get everything secure and when we left and came back it was still in place and the whole time we were at the party everything stayed in place and nothing fell over nothing 
not the wind did not affect our decorations after we got everything installed so it was a good thing that that happened so i'm still working on all these clusters and what i did i didn't wasn't able to carry my pipe and drape that's why you see me doing this tutorial because the car we drove could not fit my pipe and drape kit that i usually use for events like this so we decided to make one which ended up being good because i'll be able to use this for other events that i decide not to carry my pipe and drape around because that's pretty expensive here i have some furniture bags that i'm going to put the balloons in this one my husband bought and i decided to put the five inch it's just the cover for furniture so because it's not a big sack i decided to just tie these smaller balloons in them and the mattress bags are what i use to put the other balloons in and i'm sure if you've been watching my videos you've seen me do this before so that's the mattress bag that i'm going to use to just fit all these balloons in and once they're all in i'll keep them to the side tomorrow morning i might inflate a few more balloons and just load everything up in the van so we're good to go to the venue continue watching so you can see the struggle we go through trying to fight the wind but you know what at the end of the day we learned and we won and everything turned out great we had several people compliment the final result of the decor so stay tuned we are at this beautiful park here in minnesota they are known for the 10,000 lakes and there's a lake running right in the back there i wish i had shown you a video of that but i start out working on this balloon column that i'm gonna put by her main table at the same time richard is working on putting that backdrop in place so i can get started on the balloon garland i'll show you that here once i'm done with this column it was extremely windy and we had to use these bottles to support the tablecloths and the wind was still blowing off the bottles off of the table finally her friends just taped these tablecloths to the table to get it to stay if you want a more detailed tutorial on how i put together this column please let me know and i'll explain in detail how i do this i am just using the same three colors we've been using for this party and i'm working my way around i did not bring my sizer so i'm having to just eyeball it and it turned out fine it's also my sister-in-law's 18th birthday so we wanted to put that balloon as a reminder that we're also celebrating that the backdrop pvc pipe is in place we ended up decreasing the width of that centerpiece a little because once we got that backdrop from amazon even though it said it was seven foot it was a little less so we had to cut that centerpiece which was no big deal and just bring that in further now you can see how the wind is already carrying the drapes they are working on putting all her pictures of all the memories she has had with her friends in the back and it turned out so cute we are working our way i already set all my 260 q balloons around the drape and we're trying to figure out how we can best secure that backdrop so it's not moving around and all flimsy i keep tying my 260 cues at several points i have three on the right three on the left and about let's see i have four or three in the middle as well i'm pulling out the balloons we inflated last night or i inflated last night and just using the 260 cues to attach them 
to the PVC pipe. The real challenge hasn't started yet, so keep on watching. You'll see major <laughs> disaster with the whole backdrop. So here we are, tag teaming. Uh, Richard is using some tape which is not holding very well for this backdrop so the very tops of the backdrop he uses those screws the tiny eye screws I think is what they're called to hold it onto the backdrop and then tapes the rest in place he also further down the road decides to put some of the tape all the way down to keep everything in place now with the drapes we tape the drapes onto the backdrop the backdrop that says congrats grad as well when you're recording it's interesting because people don't know you're recording and it's hard to announce it especially when people come and go so I have a couple of instances where I apologize the video is not very clear because someone is blocking the view but we keep on going the colors look great they match the backdrop everything works well and I keep using those 260Q just wrapping around the balloon garland pulling tight so that everything stays nice and secure I'm short of balloons on that right side so I go to inflate a couple more balloons that I can attach to it and here I am going to attach that bottom piece on they're done with all the pictures that she wanted displayed and it takes pretty much the whole time I am doing all, oh there you go the whole thing falls over so we have help there to lift it up shout out to Martina thank you and we're trying to hold it back in place my father-in-law decides to go home to get some bricks because I swear the whole park we can't find a single stone or a single brick to support it and he had some bricks at home so he brings regular size bricks luckily you remember the base of the backdrop had that wood which we had improved planned that we could put sandbags on to support it but we didn't think the wind would be this wild so we didn't even think about that but the bricks were great but next of all we decide to use command hooks now that we knew it would blow it off forward we attach some command hooks onto the wall back there on the left, the right, and at the very top and use 260Q balloons as a hoop to hold that backdrop onto the building so it would not move. And I'm putting on my bigger balloons. These are 17 and 16 inch balloons. And I'm just attaching at several points just to add a little more feel a little more fullness sorry to the balloon garland so Richard is still working on getting everything secure I swear I, I appreciate his him so much for all this help because if I had to do this myself I don't know how I would be able to do it it would take so much more time because the whole time I'm doing this he's still trying to secure I decide to raise that backdrop so that there's no gap from where you see the white line going across the top I didn't want that to show so we raise that up so it's tucked in under the balloons and the pictures turn out better and you don't see that space I'm now working on all my five inch balloons while Richard is finishing up everything and we're still going back and forth on making sure that everything is secure 
I decided to make a runner which wasn't the best idea with the wind you can see where I'm trying to extend it because it wasn't long enough the balloon column see it's laying sideways because the wind just tossed it over I'm using fishing line to tie the balloon runner onto this table because we wanted this table to be sort of a focal point where she can put all her diploma and her decor box and we ended up having to strap the whole strap everything down pretty much so now we're making the balloon garland that's gonna go on this easel this easel fell about five times and part of it even broke finally we decide to just strap it onto this post back here with some fishing line and you'll see us do that in just a second but i thought i would put the base on the easel first then we can strap it down and finish up the full design i have the balloons inflated to a smaller size i would say even though they're 11 inch balloons i made them about an eight inch and the base is still about 11 so just to make the bottom full and kind of thin it out as it goes to the top this picture she printed out was so cute of her and we're working on filling everything out that's the fishing line I'm threading it through around and we're going to wrap it all around pass it through to each other and do that about three times we're literally tying the easel to that uh, to the stone post right there so it doesn't move it is so hard to install things outdoors it's just tough with the wind and this was the first time we we're doing this and you see the wind is just wild and carrying everything tossing everything around but everything that there goes the other balloon it just flew away so the top of the column kept popping out i think people helped to put it back in at the end i didn't notice that whoever put it in last did not align the balloons and they were kind of the the spiral didn't flow from the middle but I'm sure nobody noticed it except me but I'm strapping this balloon runner on the opposite side to just keep it in the middle so the wind is not carrying it around but this was so much fun I loved working with these colors I loved the experience with an outdoor installation um, again I'm just reminding you if you've been watching or it's your first time please click that subscribe button it really supports my channel I appreciate each and every one of you here's the final look and it stayed put and we loved it we took pictures and this is the other balloon garland on the easel and also the balloon runner i put some water bottles that we customized as well and there you go thank you so much